finished that I right so us 30 our analysis mainly from a higher time from perspective still one and the same the only difference is the difference that is happening on the lower time frames so i remember last time we did speak about the major break uh, of the external structure as well as the break of the internal structure which is literally there on the weekly this is just the same thing that i've been talking about over and over and i think i did speak about a major move that i'm anticipating at least to come and tap this level gap as well as even if it tips our internal structure and keeps on buying but that will be a very good opportunity both to sell as well as to to buy so this is just a quick a rough idea of everything that i think i've spoken about those that have been attending the sessions they know they know this already so uh going down to to what literally happened last last week last week us did a very simple very very simple textbook setup moves very very simple moves that was very 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 simple moves that uh they were not even confusing this is on the daily uh let me go straight away to the four hour and the one hour because that's where the moves literally happened hey these people that are joining they are disturbing me now some of them i'll just leave them off. okay so here this is where our main moves happened so looking at the four hour structure four hour structure literally see that we've still we're still been we've still been bullish inside there they haven't shifted anything that was an inducement that was a break there was another break here so th they've just been maintaining bullish order flow uh that's one thing that i've been seeing on us 30 ever since january but that major sell that i've been talking about it will happen it's just a matter of time it's just a matter of time it will definitely happen it's just a matter of time now and also a matter of confirmations and confluences once the confirmations and confluences have, have actually happened definitely you see the move happening so kept on maintaining bullish order flow bullish order flow bullish order flow so that i, I so I, the reason why i'm starting from here so that you understand even why the trades setups that happened last week and even the ones that are expecting this week are going to happen right so that's what literally happened uh, last week let me put my was uh, this is literally one move up if you notice one move one move one move like that so we'll basically consider here our inducement as this one according to the four hour it's literally this one you will see why putting this four hour inducement like this it was literally going to help you in a huge way because they are there are moves that happened up there that kept on maintaining their bearish order flow and you would have used this as a target uh so right now so far looking at the four hour i'm basically looking looking forward for them to come and wipe out this leg here which is basically according to what i'm seeing on the four hour here the leg is still here let me confirm with the daily which leg do they have to really take out there on the daily because if i'm looking on the daily the leg is definitely right here yeah it's definitely just here like this like this that's a break uh, uh these people that are joining that uh, gets with me now okay so going back to the four hour ha ah, guys I, i'm stopping to accept these people now they're disturbing what i'm doing now so this is what i our change of character le leg basically uh, looking at what we have here, break of structure, the last inducement is this. Um, if we're also going to put it well, uh, someone can even look at it from... The reason why you might not look at inside here is just because this was inside the whole leg here. So that structure was basically going to guide you to take trades that are going to. Uh, so basically, uh, let me go to the one hour and now show you what was happening and what is currently happening now. And also... What we are looking forward to this week are uh, on US theory, Nasdaq, as well as gold and GU uh, mainly. Then if there are other pairs to look at, we'll also look at them. So this is the change of character leg that we are 
still looking forward for the market to come and wipe. Once it takes out this leg, definitely that major move that I've been talking about would, it would have actually, it would have begun, it would have begun, it would have begun this leg here. So I'm anticipating them to take this out before the major move happens. So last week, it was very, very simple structures. Last week, when you're looking from the one hour perspective, looking at the one hour perspective, that was the slight adjustment, the slight break was this one. Uh, let me call it. That was the slight break. And also now here, they actually did something else here on the one hour. They also did this sort of like mini change of character. So this one, it's also one of the signs that I'm I'm having very good signs that I'm seeing that is happened there on the one hour that are very very solid that can actually give us an idea of even that even this leg that we're anticipating to be taken out can literally be taken out even this week without any any exception. So here after this break, that's where the major moves began, and the only time frame that you need to go to there was just a 15 minute. So going to the 15 minute, even this buys to the upside were very simple to catch. Uh, let me go to 30. Let me see if I can go to 30. Okay, if you look at this, they were still bullish, remember? Still bullish. Yeah, they were coming down, coming down, coming down. Yeah, they came, they didn't take this out. They broke, they came, they broke to the downside here. They now came and did the overall shift here. This overall shift here to the upside, it gave these simple buys. Uh, you could have simply taken these simple buys from here, even here. Those are simple buys that you would have taken like this. From there to there, very simple trade setup. So long they maintained structure inside there, bullishly, you could have even still held up until they hit TP there. They maintained bullish internal structure up until they hit TP. So even as they were going like this, creating a new high like this, which is higher than this one, Hitting this low and even breaking this high like this, you could have even bought upon this pullback stop loss below here. New high, new low, you could have bought against stop loss below here. Then even if they break, they could have bought stop loss would have been below this leg. Up until they hit major TP up there, you see that they maintained bullish internal structure. So here, when they're not, when they're not coming down, I saw this lower high, which was the first sign. Then when they took it out like that, that was one of the first major signs. The next major sign was now when they now came and took this adjustment. That was now the further next major, major important sign that literally happened that uh, they are now they were now going to keep on selling. So one first sign that they were actually beginning to sell was literally here when they took out this leg. So from there, one could have taken, uh, it wasn't really serious as yet, but it actually became serious when they came now and took out this which was the first sign uh, of even other sales. Because let's say they were going to keep on being bullish. They were going maybe to sell, maybe to around any of these demands, then shift structure and buy. But now they eventually went all the way. So if you follow even the idea that I always tell you that you can even follow internal structure up until it shifts. You literally, after entering that trade, and here after taking out this, you could have even sold here. Selling here, obviously, let's go to 15 minutes you literally see that you could have even gotten the reason why this one now, the only difference is that you would have gotten a larger stop loss or unless you're just using the stop loss of trend lines, which uh, to me, it's not really necessarily a, a proper stop loss, but you could have even used it whereby after wiping out this leg, you would have even sold, put your stop loss maybe just above here. Then you would have just gotten those cells like that to the downside. Very simple setup. I remember last week also, when I did analysis yesterday, I think it was around here. I also did speak about the continuation of sales happening. Those that did take the trade, it was very, it was a very, very, very clean trade. There was news also last week. One thing that I always tell you about news, news, it just creates volatility, not direction. Uh, it's, it's, it's even the same thing that you see even when CPI comes. It's basically the same, 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 same similar thing. So here... If, if you wanted even to catch up even this trade using uh using the five minute you literally see that on five minute this was a leg down up here this was a down so whatever is happening here it's it's under this leg so they came back to this level where you would have even taken cells from there same thing here this was one move 
whatever is happening, whatever fluctuations are happening here, they're under this one leg. So you see, once you see the shift inside there, you get, you, get, you could have actually taken advantage of the sell also. So, so many opportunities were basically presented here. That was a simple sell yeah. from there. You could have taken the sell there, stop loss just above here. Uh, the entry confirmation that I saw on that particular move was literally, let me show you where it was. The entry confirmation here. So I saw this down, then it went up. So going up, it, it created this as a sort of like a lower high. So you said that when they came back to the lower high, you would have taken it a trade from there or you would have simply waited for something like this. Once you see this, that was the confirmation that you could have waited for. You would have gotten sales here. Then when they come and break here again, when they come and break that sub inner structure like this, you would have even sold even after the break stop loss just above here. All those were entry setups that you're basically supposed to be entering. That was supposed to be entered even last week. Very simple moves that were happening last week. So it kept on selling. So you will, you will see that it actually kept on selling up until they took out the, uh, eventually they took out the H4 inducement, which is this one, right? So um, even NFP, NFP on, when was it? It was Friday, yeah. I think it was Friday. It was basically a following structure. So remember, remember whenever they are going to, if they are going to change character like this, one thing that they will maintain is internal structure. Internal structure, this is basically what you're seeing here. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Even this move is one move to the upside. They came here, tapped the lower high, which was the NFP move basically. That was a simple sell. So here, yeah, this is our lower low. Even if they pull back here, this is still a bearish market. So if they are going to change character, they will maintain this. So this week, I'm expecting two scenarios, two possible scenarios. One of them is basically a continuation of what we have already, which is a bearish move, uh, whereby they can even pull back to this level, then continue dropping, change character. Once they change character, then if they're going to, if they change character, they ultimately will now expect an overall, a major pullback before a major continuation. So if they, let's say if they change character, giving us this structure, they now have to induce upwardly, uh, then they come also to the level, then they induce downwardly. That will what we'll be expecting before the. So this is one major scenario that we're anticipating a continuation of what's happening already. Then now, if they don't manage to change character, it's still okay. We'll still ad adjust our setups and whatever based on that. So yeah, this was also a sell here on this level. The NFP sell, it wasn't even anything complicated there. It was just a continuation of the current order flow that was uh, running there. Basically, continuous. If you go to 15 minutes or even five minutes, you literally see how simple that sell was. It was very simple, even if you are looking at it from a 30 minute perspective. It simply came to a, an internal lower high. Very simple, very simple, very simple stuff. Very, 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 very simple stuff. So, that was the entry stop loss above. So, yeah, if someone needed maybe another confirmation as well on the 15 minute, it was basically the taking out of this leg. When they took out this leg, you could have even sold even if you took a sell after they took out this leg, even if you took a sell here, right? If you take, if you took a sell there, obviously a stop loss was going to be somewhere around here so that they don't wipe you out. But even if you did that, you still made profit. Very simple. Very, 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 very simple. So now we are having sort of like a pullback and uh, we just anticipate them. First, obviously, your first scenario whenever you're analyzing, it must be the one that is in line with the current market movement. Then the other one is basically the opposite. So yeah, the opposite would be when they now come and take out this leg. That one, it would mean they would have failed to change character. They would basically be wanting to continue their bullish um, bullish market, whatever. But if they don't take this out, basically, we're just continuing selling. So you want, once they pull back there, you see a structure shift, 15M, 5M, you strike sales. Once you strike sales, so roughly the level that I'm talking about is literally here. Right, they can even pull back into there, da, 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 shift, then they go up until they change character. Once you see that shift, you can also strike cells. Then uh, another scenario, which is a rare opposite of what's happening, so whereby they will take this out. If they take this to the upside now, uh, now it now means they are now doing the opposite, which they can even give you a pullback for a continuation, blah, blah, blah. They'll just be maintaining a uh, structure up until maybe they. So that's another. So one of these is definitely going to happen. 
one of these two scenarios that I spoke about. But basically, the first one is basically a continuation of what's currently happening, which is a bearish continuation until you change character. So nothing much to talk about there on US 30. Those are the simple trade setups that were presented last week. Once you change character, definitely a, a huge move is about to start to, it will, it will actually be, be, be cooking, it start to happen. So looking at Nasdaq, almost a almost a similar case scenario. I think I spoke about Nasdaq. If you if you if you if you were here uh, last week and even the previous weeks, I think I spoke about the bearish order flow that Nasdaq has been following inside there, the inside bearish order flow. If you look at the four hour, if you look at it from a four hour perspective, right? If you look, if you're looking from the four hour perspective. Let me just let me, let me just remove this. Let me go to the daily or even the weekly. So on the daily, the level basically there that they have to wipe out. We are looking at uh, let me put the level. We're looking at something like here. We're looking at this level. That's the level according to the daily that they have to wipe out for our major sales to happen, which are major reversal sales basically, maybe to around uh this. They don't come there. There are so many other levels that are there that are here, which they can still tap onto before they keep on buying if they're going to keep on buying. So it's also a similar thing to what is there on US 30. It was also a similar situation because the setups were so clean and clear. So having having my analysis like this, if I go to the four hour, uh, I just need further details inside there. Further details that I'm seeing here is very simple. That was a simple inducement. That was a simple break. And those that are in the class, you're aware that an inducement on a, on the daily, it's basically a change of character on what? On the H4, which is literally here, which is our change of character leg is literally here. So once they change that character, mm, 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 uh, we'll actually be looking forward to some crazy, 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 crazy moves on, uh, on, the, on the Nasdaq to the downside. So this one was basically our inducement. So that's why you see even that bearish pattern that was happening. It was happening simply to uh, come so that they come in to wipe out this. Uh, so they have to maintain that. So if they're going to keep on selling, they also have to maintain that inside structure. On the four hour, they have to maintain this. They have to maintain uh, basically this. So if, if this, they can even come and pull back. If they're going to change character, they will literally pull back the drop. Once they drop, that's when they can now induce to the upside. Tap in and tap the level, wipe out wipe out all the liquidity, then keep on dropping, right? That's one major scenario. Then another one is basically when they now come and take this out. That's one it's a different one because they can just do that, maybe give you a pullback, then continue. That's also another one. But currently, you can see they are bearish there, so they can even give you this, change character, continue pushing maybe to the demand there, maybe now shift from there, come and tap in and tap the levels before they shift again to the downside and give us our swing, major ourselves to the downside. So all of that are things that were basically happening on the NASDAQ. Uh, inside there, the structure was already bearish inside there. That's how uh, that's how we saw that these simple cells were basically because they are all falling under this leg. They are all falling under this leg, targeting take out that inducement. So you will see that even if they were coming down, they were basically giving you some 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 bearish structure to the downside some bearish structure i saw it here where they took this did this simple break here after doing this simple break they came back to the same internal lower high came back they were coming to the same extreme internal levels that's why they were very simple trade setups to take on nasdaq um like this there was a break there was a break there was a break as a break so here they came back to the same level that was a cell that was a cell came back that was a cell you see that even uh i'll show you even the confirmation that you just wanted to see on 15 minutes for you to enter those trades even if you didn't enter immediately right but some of us when you see this we just enter immediately we don't need to wait for that but the confirmation is that we now see will just be extra conf confluences for us either to scale in more or add more trades or blah 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 so yeah they can even come here then once they do that 15M shift, definitely it will be a time to sell. So if they do this, blah, 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 tap here, 15M, once you get this, definitely know that they are coming for the change of character level, which is here, down there, which is a major, major, major 
uh, that will basically be a major move that would have begun on on our on our on our, on our pairs right so here very simple very very simple structures that were happening last week you know sometimes when you now have when the skill is now in your fingertips sometimes it's it 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 always gets it always gets easier and easier. It always gets easier and easier. That's the that's the best perfect word I can use. So yeah, this shift could have given you this first cells here. You would have taken these simple cells here. Um TP could have been the previous leg, right? Stop loss could have just been here. Previous leg, which is that break of structure leg, could have been your TP, or you could have held up until the shifted structure. Or you could have held up until the shift structure. So even even if you did this, that was still profit. So to an extent that when they do this upside, some of us who are smart enough can even buy that. You can even buy this pullback. Even yeah, even if you are aware that it's a pullback. If you're not if you're not if you're not well well versed in how how it's really moving or in your understanding of structure, if you go to five minutes, I could have even got in a smaller stop loss than this one that I'm seeing on 15M. For that 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 entry that I'm showing you now, for this one, because there on M5 they will maintain that bullish structure also. So once they take it out like this, it means if let's say I bought here, my stop loss could have been just below here like this. Then I held maybe to some of the levels up there, but I just wait for them up until they shift structure to the downside. So. When they now shifted structure to the downside after tapping the level, which is there, they shifted structure to the downside, like here, that's where they shifted. It means that's where you're supposed to come out of your buys and start selling there. That was a simple sell, stop loss above here, TP just here. If you follow even structure as it was bearish inside, you would have also maximized on so many, so many, 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 many opportunities that were presented by that simple move. So yeah, they just did a prolonging of, let me go to 15 minutes. Let me not, uh, okay. So this is 15 minutes. You see that they maintained, that's a, that's a low, that's a high. That's a low, this is a high. This is the same move because they came here failed to break. So that's a, this is still under under this leg. So it's still one move. So I that even if they came around here, that was still gonna drop. So this was all one move. This move that is inside, all these moves, they are basically under this leg. So that was a simple sell also that you could have gotten around this level here. So even here, after breaking this, pulling back, you would have sold stop loss above. Breaking this, you would have even sold stop loss above here. And then when they came back there, you would have sold again because you know that the TP hasn't been hit. Uh, their institutional TP is not yet hit. So if the institutional TP is not yet hit, you can as well hold that position. So yeah, when they now shifted to the upside, when I when they now do a shift to the upside, you would have bought again, maybe into this supply, buy and hold maybe into this supply, or buy up until they shift structure again. If you master this understanding of you holding onto a trade up until the structure shifts, you realize that the majority of the times you literally make very good money because most of the trades they will most of the good setup trades they will basically move so well to an extent that so yeah if you followed structure well you realize that by the time they made this new high new internal high uh, made this a low new high right already we now have a new high which is a sign of bullish momentum here when they come here you could have entered there stop loss just below here that's the new high all of this price action that is below here it's all falling under this high and this low there is no shift of structure here to the downside. This is the law. This is basically the internal higher law. That's the internal higher high. All of these fluctuations that are happening are basically there to confuse people who don't understand institutional price action. So it's all under falling under this leg, right? So that pullback actually is basically considered as one leg like this. Then here, one leg, one leg, one leg, one leg, then here they started to give us signs of taking price down to the eventually they managed to take price down 
like here they managed to so they when they shifted like that that's why you're supposed to come out of the buys and start what selling so the nasdaq sells from there were simply these ones we would have taken that one even if you didn't take that one even if you took this one stop loss could have just been the same just above the level like this your tps were just here so many other opportunities for scaling in were there whereby they made this a new low a new high a new low this is all same this price action is just price action under this leg so it's nothing complicated it's just designed to complicate stuff for some people who don't understand structure and all that so, so now currently they did this shift to the upside came back tapped the level and you could have entered there exactly on the level or even when the structure shifted here inside here which was basically more visible on a 5m perspective uh it was more visible yeah on a five minute perspective that's why it was more visible there you would have waited for the break and i think it even happened so fast that even if let's say you entered there your stop loss is obviously this one's going to be a bit wider but it was it would have just been around here but still the same idea the idea is still the same the idea was still the same behind that trade so if you look at it from a one hour perspective it was a, it was even more simpler to even enter there stop loss just below here then tp maybe around you would have targeted this or just went to 15 minute and wait for the structure shift and the structure shift you literally realize that it literally happened up there so this is being considered that one move one move one move one move one move, one move, one move, one move, one move. Then eventually they took this out. So upon taking out taking out that to the downside, which was where the structure shift, it's a confirmation, but someone could have entered there before the confirmation or someone could have also waited for the confirmation. It now goes on now to your account balances and all that, but definitely it was even, even if you entered up there, your stop loss just here. It was even safe because the stop loss doesn't even wide and the structure was still still also bearish to the downside. So yeah, this pullback as well to the upside. That's where they did the shift. Uh, that's where they did the shift. Let me put it here, actually. That's where they did the shift here. So upon doing the shift, you could have bought immediately. If you didn't buy immediately, even this pullback, you would have also bought here. So buying there, you're simply buying into our resistances up there into our supply areas up there i mean or you just wait up until structure shifts to the downside you can even follow that so it's the same idea here once we come here take this level once the shift would take ourselves up until we change character then once you see the market maintaining the same structure up until they take the leg up there definitely the opposite will happen to what we'll be expecting but currently we analyze and we project based on the current market situation your first scenario must always be the scenario that is in line with the current market condition. The current market condition is still bearish there. Uh, so once they come there, shift, you can take sales from there. Very simple uh, structure there. So gold as well. Gold as well, I believe I also explained last time that we are simply focusing on the lower time frames for now since the higher time frames, they are now creating new highs and new highs and new highs and new highs and new highs, and new highs after highs after highs after highs. Mm -hmm. So looking at from the four hour four hour let me remove everything four hour perspective i'll go to the daily looking at the daily you literally see that our major break was literally around here that was where our major break happened uh, which is literally here major break so that major break <laughs> that major break the first thing now that they have to do in order for them to pull back Let's say they want to pull back into these levels or any other levels that are there before they continue. Uh, they literally have to induce first. Wipe out that daily up downside inducement before they do the reversal. The same similar thing that I've been explaining on US and NASDAQ. So on the daily, the level seems like it's there, but when you go to, because that inducement on the daily, when you're looking at it from a forward perspective, it will literally be uh, a what? A, 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 a change of character, literally. So that was a break. Uh, that was a break. So currently, we have this structure here. 
And then this is going to be our change of character like this. So here they kept on maintaining high low, high low, high low, high low. So if we are going to sell gold this week, it means one of the first things that must happen is this. And maybe give us a pullback. If they are going to change character, they will definitely change it before any inducement, right? If they are not going to change character, they will still have to induce first, give us maybe a pullback to any of these demands, maybe, or this level here. Then once they do this, we will continue with the buys to the upside. So that's the main analysis on gold. Currently, we're just looking forward for this. If we're going to take any sales, we just want that downside inducement. You literally realize that uh, some of the sales that we took this week were basically short term in the sense that um, the market was still bullish. So even here, if you look at the one hour, there were also so many other ways of even partaking in some of the moves to the upside, especially when structure shifts to the upside. Here, structure shifted to the upside. And even this was a sign up, down, higher low here. Higher high here, you would have even bought. So buying there, you would have simply bought here. TP could have been up there. Stop loss could have just been below here. TP could have just been around here. Or it would have followed structure up until it shifts. If it doesn't shift, you literally keep on holding. You realize that even now you'll still be holding this trade because structure is, hasn't shifted to the downside. Just went up, came down, went up, came down, went up here, came down. So even by now, you'll still be holding this same position. So now that uh, downside uh, here has to happen in order for us to take sales, if we're going to take sales. We're just going to maintain buys also. It can also be wiped, then give us a slight pullback, a slight pullback maybe into some of these levels that are here before we just continue like that. So the most important time frame that you have to look at now will be your 15 minute because an H1, um, an H1, an H1 inducement is basically a change of character when you're looking at it from your 15 minute perspective. So for now on gold, you can even focus on 15 minute uh, institutional structure there. Once you focus on, the, on that 15 minute institutional structure, it will basically guide you on the positions to take for now because that's mainly the structure that we're looking at. So if you're going to even take shorter, shorter, shorter term, uh maybe you can even wait for this if it if it op, if the market opens now and, and takes out uh this it means the only inducement on 15 net that you'll be wanting or just shorter 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 time frame or shorter time frame sales it will basically be that one maybe once it takes that out if it wants to keep on buying uh it can keep on buying but after giving you maybe a pullback into some of these levels that are not tabbed some of these untapped levels that I'm, I'm seeing here. So if it's going to keep on buying, you will see something like this. Take out this, ta, 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 ta. Then in just the upside, you can take buys. Then they keep buying. Then if they are going to change character now, they have to go all the way up until they take out this leg. Uh, so they, they will do something like this, 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 this. Once they do this now, then they can now maybe give you a slight pullback for the continue to the downside. So already I'm preparing you for both sides of the move, whichever. They're going to keep on buying. You literally have to, you can't just wait, buy now when the market opens. No, you actually want people to do that. So wait for them to at least wipe this. After they wipe that, wait for them to even pull back. So they'll be pulling back. You can even make money with that pullback. Then when they now do this upside adjustment, you can now buy to the upside. So those are the setups that I'm having this week on US Dairy, NASDAQ, and gold. Um, more updates if there's any changes on whatever, but I don't expect any changes because I've prepared you for both scenarios, uh, the continuation scenario as well as the overall change of direction scenario. So guys, we are done. The video will be up on YouTube, I believe. Um, if not tonight, then early tomorrow morning, it will be up there on YouTube. So I hope we are all going to partake on those setups and opportunities. Let's all make the most this week. So have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful evening, everyone.